Thanks, Wesley. Diversity has become a part of the fabric that weaves together our coastal culture. One high school theater troupe is using that diversity to set itself apart from the rest of the pack. Joining us in the studio this morning are members of that state award winning theater company from Ocean Springs High School, Xavier Reichbaum and Sophia Corzo. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So the show is called Bocon. Tell us about it. Um, so basically this story is about a boy from El Salvador and how one day when a normal day he's going through life, soldiers come and take his family away. And this story is about how Miguel travels all throughout Latin America to travel to Los Angeles to find a sense of freedom. So Xavier, you're playing Miguel. Yes. What's it like playing this part? This is this seems to be a very emotional and, and dramatic, you know, character to portray. What's it like playing Miguel? Well, it means a lot to me because it's sort of a staple of being part of a theater department that at some point in our lives we've all felt unheard or unseen. And Miguel is very much the embodiment of that as a character. And so playing him and following him along this journey just means the world to me. He's a character who's trying so desperately to find his voice and to be a voice for the voiceless. That's amazing. So you, you've gotten some really good feedback on this show in that you went to the Mississippi Theater Association Festival and you won. And you took home the top prize, which now sends you to Southeastern Theater Conference. So have any of you been to SCTC before? No. Neither of us. So this is a big deal. This is, I mean, there are, I mean, you're, you're in the Southeastern part of the United States. There are Irene Ryan Acting Award nominations that come out of this competition. So tell me what, what's going into the preparation now that you've gone from a state level to more regional level. The pressure is definitely higher because not just for us, for the department as a whole, it's been a few years since we've ever made it to this level of competition. And so I think we all feel an immense pressure to prove ourselves as artists. It's definitely higher than the previous two levels. I will say that I've seen uh, a handful of pieces of work from this theater department and you guys put together complete pieces of theater. So, and there have been those that have come before you in this same department under the same, under Chris Permenter, the same director that have really brought some new age theater to the coast and have opened the eyes of many people in South Mississippi. So give, kind of give me an idea what it's like to work with a director in a program that is really changing the game for theater on the coast. Mr. Permenter is amazing. He always supports us no matter what we do. And it's always an honor to be able to work with him and just the lessons he teaches us along the way. And he also lets us have that creative freedom to create what we love and be able to do what we do amazingly. Well, you talked about that creative freedom. That there, a big part of that goes into being able to work in an ensemble piece. So, you know, uh, Xavier, tell us a little bit about how comfortable you feel, not just the two of you, you're the family that has, you know, come to the U.S., but you have an entire cast of individuals around you and, and being able to have that creative freedom with a much larger group of people, there's a comfort level that goes along with that. Oh, absolutely. Whenever you sign up or audition to be a member of this department, you get in, you're signing up to be a part of a family. And the, there's a lot of pressure that comes with that, but it, it does make the experience that much better. You can always tell how the quality of a show is affected based on how close people are off stage. And that's something this department thrives at. Guys, thanks for joining us this morning. Listen, there's more from this amazing theater company after the break. You don't want to miss it.